Well, welcome back. Um, if you remember in the previous update, I said I've got some parts that are not to be used because the rally rims, if you, if you remember my previous video, the rally rims that I'm going to be using, it says do not use. Parts not to be used. So I go into that, back to that page where it says there, parts not to be used. So what I've done is I've made a list of those parts And to my surprise, these parts are actually for um, Safari Rally Kenya. So I've got the parts off the sprue and I've test fitted them to the car. This part here, do you remember when I said that was to the engine? It's actually the snorkel. I've had to bring it down slightly because I've drilled a hole there and I've drilled a hole there. Much like on the vent that I've just popped off. And uh, you know what, screw it. Because right here, you could probably just make out that it's slightly um, curved for this vent here. So I've had to bring it down slightly so that'll sit flush. So that again, there's a hole there and there's a hole there. You also get this extra vent, which looks like a proper intake vent, I'm trying to get it back into the hole. And that looks proper, proper, proper vent. Because the one on the kit looks like that. And it's that don't look like it's a buddy vent. A roof vent. You also get the bull bars that sit on the bonnet. And that there's two holes there, and those plug into the front bumper. And then you've got the second part of the bull bar, which connect like that. Underneath there, and they that will connect that there's two pegs underneath there, and they will connect to that underneath chassis plate, and that will mix that mix the ball bar. The mesh I can get, I've got some mesh I can put the mesh on there. So I'm going to build this to Safari Rally Kenya. If the parts are there, why the hell not? Because if you remember, I said I was going to do this to um, RAC um, Network Q Rally, I'm going to do it to Safari. My only problem is slick tyres, because this is Monte Carlo kit, I ain't got no gravel tyres. And I'm having a problem trying to find them on the internet, because these are about 24, 25 mil across and 13 mil wide, 12, 13 mil wide. And the ones on the internet, they're too, they're not thick enough. So... The gravel tyres that I've found so far, them half the size, half the width of the tyre itself that I've already got. And the ones that might be okay are like £25 for four and I'm not going to spend that. Um, I've had a look at the other rally cars that I've built in the past and their tyres are money half the width. So they're going to be no good. So either I'm just going to have to live with the slicks for now and then maybe find some, maybe I might have another rally kit, I might buy another rally kit and they'll have uh, gravel tyres that will fit this. But for the moment it looks like I'm going to have to use the slicks, So, but it's a shame not to use them extra parts. You get them parts for free. So the only thing I'm going to have to do now is um, print off some rally Kenya um side door plates and the actual event plate that will go on the bonnet but why not use them i know i said i was going to do this to um wales rally gb well sorry the rac rally network q rally whatever but i'm going to do this to rally kenya it's a shame not to use them parts